A Russian rocket carrying space station supplies failed during liftoff two weeks ago and crashed into Siberia. Ground controllers are in the early stages of planning how to leave the vast complex running just in case it needed to be temporarily abandoned, according to the astronauts aboard the ISS. So far, we have not begun any of those actions on the space station. It's, uh, the, the teams in Houston are in the preliminary stages of deciding everything from what ventilation we're going to be, we're going to leave running, what lights we're going to leave on, uh, what condition each particular experiment will be on, every tank, every valve, every hatch. There's a lot to do, uh, and they're, they're just beginning that work right now. Uh, and I, it's, it's too early for us to get too worried about that, frankly. It, it'll take us, you know, a few weeks uh, to, uh, to finish that up, but we have another nine or so weeks here, uh, my uh, crew of three. Six men are leaving aboard the space station. Three of them will leave late next week, a week late to keep the outposts fully staffed as long as possible. A new crew of three was supposed to blast off this month, but their flight has been delayed until at least the beginning of November, just two weeks before the three remaining residents will have to leave. You know, we are very, very optimistic and we're very excited about the discoveries that are going to be made right here, right on this orbital faci uh, facility, uh, you know, because we're conducting research here that simply can't be conducted anywhere on Earth. Uh, and I think we're going to see uh, very shortly, you know, some of these breakthroughs uh, that are going to be made possible through this research. And, you know, that's one of the big things that uh, we all felt really proud to, to be associated with. For almost 11 years, astronauts have been living aboard the station without interruption. Astronaut 4